this is it. We're going to test the engine now. Um, it's a nice crisp morning, um, so we're going to get it out in a little bit and um, and try it out. Um, I'm not overly confident it's um, everything's going to go to plan, um, but really the best thing to do is just try it and, um, and then we'll go from there. I've just um, added this little throttle lever as well, just to, um, that controls this rod here like that. And that controls the little valve down there. Um, it's the best location I could think of. I'm a bit worried because you've got all these linkages going backwards and forwards. <laughs> it's, it's not an ideal situation, um, but that's all I can come up with at the moment. I think when operating this engine, um, I think gloves will be mandatory. The general, general stability of the engine seems okay to be fair. It's uh, it's all right, really. I think, I don't. As long as it's only trundling along at a slow speed, I don't think there'll be any problems. I've left the shaft long there at the moment um, on the the crankshaft. I'll cut that off eventually. Um, we're going to leave it there for the moment because I want to um, put a uh, uh, do a dynam dynamometer test. Um, so I need somewhere to attach all the bits and bobs. The father's just uh, turned up to lend a hand. Ready. Here we go. Let's see what happens. So far, it's got a nice, good draft. You can see it by the speed of the food glasses. Here you go, Dad. Have a cup of tea. Uh, thanks so much. What's that cold like to the bus? Yeah. Oh, something in there. Still warming up. Right, the fire's starting to get there. We'll leave it a little bit longer and then we shall give it a go. The old fire's getting in and out. I'll give it a go in a minute. Right, it's no good. We're going to have to give it a go. Uh, yeah, so it ran a little bit better than um, than we imagined. <laughs> um, uh, we couldn't actually stop it though. Um, the problem is um, there are slight air leaks within the engine that I haven't quite fixed yet. Uh, there is a valve here to let all the let the air out, um, but I don't. I think it's probably quite restricted with this little one-way valve. Here. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbolt this a minute and um, and take that out and then see if we can actually stop the engine uh, with the controls. Right, so we've taken that restriction out, so hopefully we can stop it this time. Uh, yeah, it's not really stopping, even though I've got an uh, air hole open. <laughs> stop it with gloves, I can't stop it with the actual controls, um, but I feel confident enough to give it a go now, so we're going to put it in gear and, and see what actually happens now. So I put it in forward, uh, break off, uh, break off, uh, close the close the valve. I think that's right. Oh, uh, oh yeah, wrong way. 
Also, this is going downhill at the moment, so it should bother to uh, achieve this uh, without too many problems. I'll just shut the fire, fire door, so it'll do that. The test will be when it comes to the incline. So we're going up the incline now, so we'll see what happens now. I think it's going to go up the incline to be fair. I'll close that. I'll close the uh, top, the top of drawing, and also open the door so I don't, I don't overheat the thing. Uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> that was surprising. I'm surprised it went right around. Um, so now I think I'm going to get a carriage now and um, uh, hitch it up, and then see if it can pull me around as well. Okay, right, so we're ready to go. Um, I better put my brake on. Or brakes. <laughs> now, I'm not sure whether to start it in gear or pull it out of gear, start it, and then let it go. Right, I'll put it in forward, see what happens. Oh, there we go. We're away. somewhere. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's going on? I'm a bit confused where that's come from. How have we got a spare bearing? Where the hell's that come from? I'm really confused. Oh, okay then. You see, the, the, the idler sprocket has just come off. I think, it, I think it jarred it when I put it in gear, so that's alright. Oh, I thought it was something important then. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I'm sure we can fix that problem, no problem. Uh, yeah, I just need to put this back to go again. It's pulled out of there. It's my own fault. I um, I put it in gear when it was running flat out, so that's my, my fault. You can stop it with the brake, but it's uh, it's a bit juddery because we've got no tension on the chain at the moment.
Wow, that was certainly a, a great deal of fun. Um, I'm relieved actually that the thing actually ran to start with. Um, I was really, really worried that it wasn't going to work at all. Um, what I'm quite happy about is because I know there's quite a few problems with it as well. Um, one of the problems is, is uh, there's lots of internal leaks at the moment because you can hear the air leaking out. Um, so hopefully if I solve some of those problems, um, I might actually be able to get it going even better. Um, until I've solved all the problems, I won't be doing a dy dynamometer run to find out what the power output is. Um, but at the moment, it's looking pretty promising. Um, so uh, yeah, so um, yeah, I'm interested to hear what you uh, you think about things and uh, any um, any comments about uh, improvements that could be made. I'm uh, I'm all ears. So uh, till next time, see ya, bye.